Hey guys, welcome to Vidish Academy. And here in this presentation, we are going to deal with transformations of some into product. And now let us discuss this concept by just proving a formula over here. So for any two real numbers, say C and D, we have the formula sine C plus sine D is equal to two sine C plus D divided by two into cos C minus D divided by two. So here by observing on the RHS side, which is in the form of 2 sin A cos B. So we already know the formula of 2 sin A cos B, which is equal to sin A plus B plus sin A minus B. So here in this formula, where sin A and cos B are nothing but the product of two different trigonometric ratios, which results in the sum of two different trigonometric ratios. And here by observing the formula of sin C plus sin D, where we have the sum of two different trigonometric ratios, which results in the product of two different trigonometric ratios. So now let us compare both these formulas. So by comparing both these formulas, we get the value of A as C plus D divided by 2 and the value of B will be equal to C minus D divided by 2. And now let us substitute both the values of A and B in this formula. So here by substituting, we get 2 sine A, which is sine C plus D divided by 2 into cos the value of B, which is C minus D divided by 2, which is equal to sine A plus B, that is sine C plus D divided by 2 plus the value of B, which is C minus D divided by 2 plus of sine A minus B. So here we get sine A, which is C plus D divided by 2 minus of C minus D divided by 2. And now let us try to simplify on the RHS side. So we can also write this in the form of sine and by digging LCM which we have common denominator. So here we get 2 and in the numerator we get C plus D plus of C minus D then plus sine and taking denominator 2 we get 2 here and in the numerator, we get C plus D, then minus into C becomes minus C, and minus into minus becomes plus. So here we get plus D divided by 2. And now let us try to simplify. So here plus D and minus D gets cancelled in the first term, whereas in the second term, C and minus C gets cancelled. And here we get sine C plus C, which is 2C divided by 2, plus of sine D plus D, which is 2D divided by 2. And here 2 in the numerator as well as in the denominator gets cancelled and similarly here 2 gets cancelled. So that implies we get here sine C plus sine D. This is nothing but the value on the LHS side. So therefore we transformed the sum of two trigonometric ratios into the product. And we proved the formula for 2 sine C plus D divided by 2 into cos C minus D divided by 2 is equal to sine C plus sine D. And similarly, we can also prove the formula for sine C minus sine D is equal to 2 cos C plus D divided by 2 into sine C minus D divided by 2. And similarly, we can also prove the formula for trigonometric ratio cos, that is cos C plus cos D is equal to 2 cos C plus D divided by 2 into cos C minus D divided by 2. And then coming to the difference, which is cos C minus cos D is equal to minus 2 sine C plus D divided by 2 into sine C minus D divided by 2. And make a note of all these formulas such as sine C plus sine D, then sine C minus sine D, and the formula for cos C plus cos D, and then cos C minus cos D. Hope you understood the concept. For more videos, visit our website, Vidich Academy. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.